Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the first ever production car without a rear window. So this is a 2024 Polestar 4 and this is the 200 kilowatts single motor long range uh, Pilot Plus. So this is sort of an entry level um, Polestar. You can have the long range dual motor. However, unfortunately the dual motor suffers with a bit of a lack of a range. You do get 544 horsepower, which is a bit more than this 272, but you do have to sacrifice your range. So obviously the long range single motor is definitely a desirable car to have if you do want that desired range. Um, so yeah, this one's finished in Storm Metallic, which is sort of a mid gray. Um, it's Polestar's color. They basically name their colors that after weathers or planets or metals. To be honest, they name them after anything really. Um, but yeah, you've got pixel LED adaptive cornering lamps at the front with LED fog lamps. Um, which are also cornering, surround camera system, adaptive cruise radar plate on the bottom and um, the Polestar 4 does feature adaptive cruise as default. Um, I've reviewed quite a few Polestar 2s which were quite high spec. Um, I haven't got a Polestar 3 yet and a Polestar 1 is about six figures. Um, there's only one on Auto Trader, uh, Polestar main dealers selling Polestar 1. You've got 20 inch aero alloys, you've got the Polestar um, script here with the model and the kilowatt hour and the um, yeah horsepower, 200 kilowatts. You've also got 11 proximity cameras around the car. As the car doesn't have a rear window, you'll see in a sec, it does have cameras throughout the whole entire car, including three rear cameras as well. Uh, you've got electric charging port, left-hand sided. Um, with yeah obviously capacity for rapid charging and you've got uh, gloss black window surrounds which is nice and gloss black trim all around uh, which is really lovely and yeah moving on to the back it is absolutely gorgeous um, obviously with that sort of deletion of a window at the back how they've engineered it is to make it more aerodynamic and um, yeah, just quite interesting really. Um, you've got two sort of uh, LiDAR cameras at the back there or just, yeah, cameras in general and a camera at the rear here on the bottom as an actual reversing camera. You've got a 12 volt socket, the Harman Kardon um, sub in the boot, um, left um, outward air ventilated. Um, outward firing and you've got like a little parcel shelf thing here it's like a little divider when you pull it down you can basically see into the cabin um, which is quite interesting and some led lamps here along with a lot of storage um, well a big parcel um, load cover here but just a tiny bit of storage here with a first aid kit um, which is quite nice you've also got that electric tailgate as well which is nice and you've even got the Polestar um, logo embossed onto the carpeting and you've got this massive LED light bar going across the rear here as well. And the switch is quite nicely integrated here. Um, you've got the also Polestar logo in matte silver. Um, and yeah, the door handles are sort of Tesla-esque. You just have to tap. Um, did forget to mention almost, this is the key. Uh, this is about 65 grand new and um, the pilot the plus pack is standard on all um polestar fours and um, this one has the optional pilot pack and the 3900 pound napa upgrade pack which basically gives you full black um animal welfare treated napa leather interior um you've got perforated seats all around with the classic upholstar style um perforating and patterning here you've got rear comfort headrest as part of this pack um basically on their description on my website basically just states that you know um the headrest could be a bit bigger more comfortable as you've not got a rear window to obstruct visibility so you know they've sort of just implemented that you've also got pet so it's sort of recycled material carpets here with Polestar logo on the tread plates and these Harman Kardon sort of quirky looking square speakers with a satin chrome surround and um, this is also the door handle it's electronic and you've got this sort of metal bezel here as well and then yeah you've got the logo here and on the back here also you know uh, the Napa upgrade pack is quite nice a plus pack also gives you heated rear seats you've also got um three zone climate control with individual temperature adjustment back here and fan direction uh a fan yeah fan direction and um speed or you know manual off and auto um it is to your liking you've even got radio controls it is quite executive back here obviously you've got radio controls you can turn the volume up or off and skip stations and even have uh, the lights back here as well which you can turn on and off um and yeah you've got a full panoramic 
um, full length glass panoramic sunroof um, going across the whole length of the uh, interior here which is quite nice there is an option for electrochromic roof but yeah this one just has a panoramic roof uh, you do, don't get a blind on these um, but it is gradually tinted and the napa upgrade pack also gives you this um it's almost suede they don't call it suede but it's a textile um sort of um engineered textile uh, roof lining it sort of feels like suede it's very high quality feeling um definitely and yeah you've got 100 percent traced leather animal welfare you've also got up to 34 de um, degree reclining rear seats which is really luxurious so the seats just basically tilt back and forth um yeah at a certain angle which is you know that is quite executive and you know the three zone climate and heated steering wheel i think they have done a good job of trying to make it look um you know quite executive and you've got some storage here this thing doesn't open um however you do have cup holders which come out the headrest here and you know if you want the added practicality and convenience you just put the thing back up and pull on this loop if you want it to come back down you've got two usb-c ports as well one with a 60 watt capability charger and yeah it's a nice metal bezeling it is like you know quite loaded for what it is you've also got a key card which comes with a car um which is nfc chip so you just tap it on there with that wireless logo and you've also got blind spot assist on all polestar fours with um really cool mirrors they like when they fold they fold at an ever so slight angle really they don't really um like fully fully fold but yeah you've got 12-way electrically adjustable front seats with eight-way electric and four-way lumbar you've also got two-way manual adjustable cushion there and the headrests are nice the napa upgrade pack also gives you on top of a standard harman kardon surround sound system which gives you 1320 watts and 12 speakers the napa upgrade pack upgrades on this by giving you a 1400 watt system with 16 speakers so the extra four speakers comes in the form of two speakers in each front headrest these can play audio noise cancel and your bluetooth audio which is quite advanced and um yeah just really sophisticated obviously it's a very futuristic looking car it definitely feels like it's ahead of its time um and yeah again you've got electric um latched door handles here or sort of just well to be honest yeah it's sort of electric but yeah just you pull it and it disengages which is quite nice the seat is adjusting itself as well which is lovely and again the roof is quite nice um, you've also got a rear view mirror, which I find a bit funny because when you flick it down, you basically can't see anything. There's just, there's, there's nothing to see. It's like pitch black, but when you flick it up, you've obviously got your camera system there. And if you put it in reverse, you will have your full entire surround view degree system. So basically you can see bird's eye view, rear and a full system. Whenever you get close to anything, even in drive or just near anything, the camera system is really advanced. It's like, because basically the whole car is based around this camera system because you know you don't have a rear view um, window so the camera system is always on alert and on guard um, which is nice you've got a heap ton of features on this as well um, it sort of feels a bit tesla-esque as well um, you know you've got 180 miles range on 47 percent battery you've also got a heads up display as well the storm paint's obviously a thousand pound option as well this one's got a 1300 pound pilot pack as well which adds to the adaptive cruise you already get on the polestar 4 by giving you self-driving on the motorway and lane keeping assist so it will drive itself on the motorway and adapt to the speed limit and follow in distance which is nice you've got this nice flat bottom steering wheel with a metal bezel polestar logo along with a 12 o'clock marker at the top in a metal bezel and yeah like i said when it's tesla s you've got adjustments on here which you actually use so basically you, everything's digital you to adjust the steering column you have to use the screen um which i find personally i i would like um sort of a manual thing or electric switch but this does make it a bit more simplistic and minimalistic in terms of design you've also got a laser here which um just detects if your eyes are looking at the road and you've got your mirror adjusters here and your heads up display adjuster obviously most of the time heads up display is is yeah you have to adjust it by screen you've also got your wiper control it's funny because it's just a completely moving rotary dial like if you just move it down this wiper dial will go on forever but you can see on my settings here if you keep scrolling it up you've got auto one times uh tw twice speed and off and then auto headlights as well um you've got very advanced pixel led headlights you've got very minimalistic style center console they've got a class classic volvo sort of um yeah sort of a uh, grated 
you know, this thing sort of just goes back um, with the lines. Uh, yeah, just a shutter sort of design, which is quite nice. Two USB-C ports in the middle there and two cup holders, along with a pause and play button for radio. It's just a um, very minimalistic on-off volume style. Wireless phone charging as well. You've also got an electronic glove box. Basically, everything is controlled by the screen. Um, and yeah, the Napa leather upgrade is definitely lovely. Not only do you get the other features which I mentioned, you also get heated and ventilated front seats only with the Napa leather, heated steering wheel, three settings, and lumbar massage, which is really nice. The massage is very powerful. Um, you know, you've got intense and gentle standard. Even the standard is quite intense. You know, I probably put in gentle to be honest. Uh, wow, it is um, very nice. Probably one of the best massages I've had got a lovely air pocket system like sort of s-class use you've got google maps as well massive um i think it's over 10 inch touch screen um with google uh, maps which is volvo's sort of operating system for the you know touch screen um and yeah you've got a load of features you've got your glove box mirrors folding um yeah and your bluetooth speed limit they actually fold more than i thought they did on the polestar 2 they don't fold as much um but yeah you've got exterior lighting left and rear individual child locks um, you've got creep, which basically just rolls the car forwards if you let off the accelerator. One pedal drive, which is regen braking. Steering feel, so sports steering. Um, pilot assist, road traffic um, speed recognition. And speed limit warning, blind spot, bliss, uh, as Volvo call it. Um, and a charging limit as well. And you can also set the amperage as well. Uh, 32 is the maximum amps you can have for charging. But yeah, it, I'm very impressed with the range, to be honest. For a car like this, a size like it, and the horsepower, um, and for a 100 kilowatt hour battery, that is very impressive. 47% um, with 180 miles. You've got the Harman Kardon surround sound system, their flagship Harman Kardon system, the Polestar 4, and the Polestar models are the first cars to feature this. You've got all seats, um, a driver or rear. This is audio focus for surround focus, and you can mute um, driver front or rear, which is quite cool. You've got your surround level, your headrest audio, um, which is quite interesting, and equalizer inbuilt on stage equalizer, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, and yeah, just overall really cool. You've got rear fog lights there. There's just a load of settings to be honest. It will take me all day to sort of go through them, but you've got child locks, basically the basic stuff. You've also got ambient lighting, which um, is a bit strange. You have to like sort of configure it after planets. So if you want the sun, which is sort of like red, it tells you like how many degrees the sun is. I mean, I don't really need to know that. But um, yeah, obviously it tells you how long a day is on sun. I mean, I'm never going to go to the sun. So do you know what I mean? It's like um, it, this is very random. But, you know, Polestar is a bit futuristic and space orientated. So I can understand. But Earth, you can see the average temperature is 15 degrees like I'm not even sure. Yeah, you can see the colours, obviously. They change. If you just look right there, you can see they change from, like, red to blue to, like, white. Yeah, just a bit interesting, really. You'd never think that they'd, they'd tell you how hot the sun is or something. It is a bit random, honestly. But, um, yeah, nevertheless, quite a cool little gimmick. Um, but, yeah, to get back out of the car, you should use this. You have recycled texture or textile plastic all around um, with this sort of... Um, soft feel and leather everywhere basically even on the door uh, bottom of the door here very high quality very impressive you've got some storage underneath here as well and um yeah just overall really nice you've got the sort of volvo classic buttons polestars i think a little bit chinese now but still you know swedish volvo you know the works um but yeah it's just absolutely stunning the car it does look really cool from the back and it's uh, definitely head turning but um yeah, let's just move in under the, the bonnet. Engine. Not much to see here, obviously. You've just got some cables and, um, yeah, brand new fast charging double ended cable, your triangle, um, a little bag here with your lock and wheel nut, and, um, yeah, just a high vis vest. And, yeah, basically the motor is rear wheel drive, so single motor, 200 kilowatts, so, um, yeah, 272 brake horsepower and 100 kilowatt hour battery, so just over 300 miles worth of uh, electric range. So uh, yeah, quite nice obviously. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.